Welcome to week four, project cost management. This week your assignment is to prepare estimate and quotation sheets for work for each work package in your deck work breakdown structure. So I wanted to create this video to help you get started. So what you're going to want to do first is open up the estimate and quotation sheet template, or you could open up the example, but if you open up the template, uh, this is what you should see. So you need an estimate and quotation sheet for each work package. So here is my work breakdown structure for my deck, deck project. Yours could look different and that's okay. So I need um, one of those sheets for getting building permit. I don't need it for design for 1 and 1.1 1 .1, because those are summary activities, not work packages. If you remember, a work package is the lowest level uh, of the work breakdown structure. So I will need one for get building permit, deck inspection, supervision, design deck, create deck plan, clear utility lines. So that's what I need uh, a sheet for. So what you'll want to do is copy this sheet for the number of work packages you have. So to copy it, you right click on it, move or copy. I want to create a copy and I want it before sheet two. Okay, so you want to do that for the number of work packages you have. And for me, I think I have 37 work packages, so I will need 37 tabs, um, 37 estimate and quotation sheets. And what I find is easiest is to put the uh, work breakdown structure number on the bottom. So my first work package is 1.1.1. Okay. And then my second work package is 1. Point, whoops is 1.1.2. Okay, so for the number of work packages you have, that's what you'll, the number of tabs you need. So let's do an estimate and quotation sheet for the first uh, work package. So my first work package is 1.1.1, get building permit. So let's fill this out. So project is deck, description, this work package, or the description of my deck project. I've created a deck plan using the Home Depot um, deck, designer, uh, deck designer. So my deck is a one level, 206 square foot deck with railings and stairs. So you'll want to create your own plan from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot's deck designer plan so you can get a material list. So work package code, so for this one it's one point, oh, it's 1.1.1 1 .1 and this work package description is get building permit. Okay, so what you're going to want to do here, skill is for us, we have a supervisor, laborer one, and laborer two, okay? And you're gonna to wanna to put the rates in, and last week, that was your assignment, was to create the rates. So here's the uh, loaded hourly rates I came up with, so my wage times the overhead rate times the personnel rate, so those are my rates. So my supervisor is $74.52, so let's put that in, uh, $74.52. My laborer one is $36.03, and my laborer two is $56.44. Okay, so you can leave that in for every one. So hours, so how many hours do I think it's going to take to get a building permit? Um, so I have got a building permit before, many times, and I know it takes about two hours to fill out the paperwork. Okay, if you don't know and don't have that experience, then you need to ask. So justification, so I need to put that in as my justification. So two hours to do paperwork and that's based on previous jobs. So that's how long it will take to do the paperwork. Um, then I'm going to have to wait on the uh, 
to get the permit. So I will need to do research on that. How long does it take to get a building permit? And I went to this website and this has how long it says it takes. Five days for the fast track, 10 days for normal single family residential dwelling, 15 days for certain buildings. So this can be my uh, most optimistic, uh, most likely and most pessimistic. So based on that information, so I'm going to say and 11 days to get approval based on, so I want to uh, say where I got my information, so I'm going to put this link right in here. So based on and PERT calculations. Okay. So that's the information I needed. So let's format cell. So I want to make sure everything fits in there. Text. Okay. So that means two hours to do the work and 11 days to wait. And you're not going to pay somebody to wait. So really, I need to just put two hours in here. And for my case, I'm going to have the supervisor get the building permit. So I'm going to put two hours in here. And then I use Excel to do the work. So I'm going to do equals the rate times the hours. OK. And I can copy that formula down. And so I'm not going to have anybody else do the building permit. So zero hours. So I want to subtotal this up. use the auto sum button function. Labor contingency. We're going to talk about la contingencies in a few weeks. So for now, let's just assume a 10% contingency for everything. So we'll put 10% in. So we're going to put in a rate of uh, 0.1, which is 10%. So I'll put in a formula. So 10% times the total. Okay, and again, let's auto sum this. And we want to sum the two together. Okay, overhead, we're not going to put in any overhead because it's already part of our rates. Okay, so let's, um, it would be this plus this. Okay, so there's our total uh, labor costs for getting a building permit. Um, will we have any materials? No, we don't need any materials or tools or anything to do the building permit. Um, do we have any other expenses? Yes, we have the expense of the building permit itself. So we have to uh, buy a building permit. So let's put that in. So Okay, so let's find out what it costs to um, get a building permit. So if we do some research, I'm going to go to, uh, this is for the city of Toronto. How much does it cost in Toronto to get a building permit? So here's the fee schedule and they say um, in Toronto, it's a permit fee is the SI, the service index times the area. So let's find out what our service index is for a deck. So if you look down, uh, we keep going through, see what we can find. Alterations and renovations fees. So that's what we're doing. We're alterating our house, and we can see it's $5.36 uh, per square meter. Okay, so we need to put that in here. So, um, Building permits cost $5.36 per square meter as per. So again, let's put where this information is coming from. Okay, it's very important to source where our information is coming from. Okay. And deck is estimated at 
uh, square meters plus 13% HST. So that comes to $115.99. So that's what our uh, building permit is going to cost. So let's put that in there. So $115.99. Okay, and you need to put that uh, information in there. Okay, so total expenses, okay, total gross labor plus, so let's add everything up. So we have our expenses plus, if you had any um, bought out costs, plus our labor, okay. So it's $280 and profit. Again, we'll talk a bit more about profit. So for now, let's just, we're going to use 15% as profit. Okay. So it'll be the total costs, right, times 15%. And then let's add that up. This. Okay. Whoops, that's not right. 35 times. Oh, it should be times here. I made a mistake. There we go. So our total cost to get a building permit, including the labor to do the paperwork plus the permit itself, is $321.92. Okay, assumptions. Did we make any assumptions? Um, one assumption I, you know, we'd have gas to go drop it off and pick it up. So let's just assume that's included in our rates. Gas to drive to is covered in overhead rates. Okay, so there we go. So that's how you fill out. Um, an estimation and quotation sheet. Okay, I'm going to show you. Let's do one more. Um, let's do it. So I'm just going to copy this one, move or copy, and let's put it here and make sure we'll do copy. Let's do one more and we're going to do it for 1.4.1. And 1.4.1 is dig post holes. Now for your case, you have to do one for every single work packages, but I'm just showing you a couple of examples. So let's go up here. So we'll need to change this. This is 1.4.1. Okay. And our description here is dig post holes. Okay. So. How many hours do we think it takes to dig a post hole? So you need to do some research. You could talk to people who have done it before. You could look on the internet. Um, I found this source and it tells me it takes about a half hour to dig a post hole. But if you read throughout the post, there's various um, different estimates. So um, let's put that down here. Again, we always want to put where we get our information. So justifications, so based on information from Based on information found at, so let's go to the website, um, this source. Okay. 
the most likely time needed to dig a hole is 12 posts and again when I did my design I found out I need 12 posts times 30 minutes a post equals six hours uh, the most optimistic is 20 minutes a post which equals four hours in total and the most pessimistic is 12 hours okay so using the PERT Calculations. We calculate our estimated time to be 6.64 hours. We're going to assume two workers dig the holes together. Okay, so we're going to have labor one and labor two doing this. So supervisor isn't doing anything, so zero hours and 6.64 hours to do that. So, and the formulas that we created before I've carried over because I've copied that uh, worksheet. Okay, materials, do we need any materials? Well, we might need an auger, but we're gonna make that assumption. So let's put in the assumption that Our assumption is that the auger, if we build DEX as a company, we're going to assume that we own it. Uh, so we're going to assume auger is owned by company and is in included in rates. Okay, so we don't have any um, other costs. Uh, tools, we, as we said, we've assumed our included so and we've got to get rid of this building permit here right that's left over from the last work package and so we can get rid of that and a 15 percent profit so our cost to dig the holes is $776. So that gives you an example of what you're to do this week. And again, you'll need um, a tab in your Excel file for every single work package. So you need to do the, re the research and figure things out. And again, the material, what material you'll need, you'll want to do a deck plan. And the Home Depot or Lowe's uh, deck plan software will give you a material list and you'll need to price that out at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or Rona or something like that. So hopefully this is helpful for you and if you need more help please give me a call or email me.